I got into bees mostly because I was I'm a, I love flowers and gardens and the more I was hearing about bees the more I wanted to learn about them I also love honey although now if we get honey that's wonderful but mostly it's um, I've come just to love the bees for being bees and we had a lot of questions and we weren't sure how it would work in our yard so we went with best bees for about two years and then we decided we were becoming more and more comfortable with it all and we decided we wanted to learn how to open the hive. We have built a new box as well as some frames so that was new for me because I was the one who was actually building putting the frames together. Um, we got our bees at the beginning of May this year. Our last bees, last year's bees had died from um, from a mite. So we started fresh and um, we brought them home and it was really exciting. It was the first time I had suited up and dealt with them and um, they went in and they seemed very happy and we fed them for a while just some sugar water and um, Otherwise, they kind of do their own thing. Um, Nancy from Beekeeper's Warehouse has been really supportive and wonderful, and she came and helped me do some of my first hive checks, and she's looking to make sure that they're producing brood and also comb so they, um, they and honey. I love watching them, especially on the really warm, sunny days, just flying all over the yard. Um, and I've had fun playing with different plants to bring into the garden to see what they really seem to enjoy. One of the ones that surprised me was sedum in the fall. They really seem to love that when it starts to flower. I've also planted a lot of catmint, which um, it also attracts a lot of bumblebees. And, um, and they also, I have a lot of hydrangeas in my yard and we do see them on that. So we'll see if there are any frogs in here today. They don't see any. So they drank a lot of syrup last night. My bee instructor told me to start October 1st, feeding them like this through October. And then November 1st, I'll make the, the sugar cake. And then I think at that point, everything is closed up and you don't go in at all because you want to keep them warm. And do you see that white thing in there? That's the medication for mites. Uh -huh. So when November 1st comes, I'll put something over that, and then this is the box that'll be filled with hay or shredded uh, paper or something like that. So when we opened the hive in September, both of those boxes, I mean, we didn't go into the, the bottom box, but the top box was just packed with bees. Oh. It was unbelievable. You took out the frames and they were just... I guess October 1st they start reducing. There won't be no brood or any of that sort of thing. My bee mentor was saying that you'll start finding, they'll start kicking the all the drones and the people who aren't necessary for the winter out. Well, you have to leave this hole open and that open. So she said just this is where they're living right now. Uh huh. So I cut one that I'll tape across here. Okay, now. So I don't see how this is going to work. So I've got my smoker. I got it mostly ready. Uh -huh. so that 
And I should not hold it here because it's going to get really hot. a little bit of my cake in there. Oh yeah. And how did you make the cake? It was just a pound of sugar. Uh-huh. And a pound of sugar and about a quarter cup of water and I just um, massaged it. Uh-huh. And then I rolled it out between two pieces of parchment. So hopefully this is right. The new bees arrived the second week in May from Georgia and we started all over again. So I opened up the queen cage first and got her situated on one of the frames and got her in. I always think it's really fun to watch them, just how they all go towards the queen and, and then how you just tap on it very gently and they roll into a ball and roll out into the hive. Um, and then I had, it was a lot more fun this year putting the bees in. I felt a little bit more confident. And then you get to put the cover on. And then it was time to pull out the big syrup jar and get that ready for them. Then put the syrup on top and close it up and start hoping for the best. I'm just grateful for all the information that I get from other people who are doing it and what I've been able to read. And I hope that one day I can have um, 
bees that are really happy being in my yard. We've tried again to plant more pollinators and just try and make the yard a place that bees want to be. And so we'll see what this year brings. Mm -hmm.